Yeah, hi, May Rezra here, and today I'm with you on Corona Street number nine. And I want to talk to you about uh, something really weird. I, I want you to look at something, and I think that it will open your eyes. Okay, so you know that uh, what's happening across the globe with Corona is basically different governments get uh, an instruction from the World Health Organization to act in a certain way to handle the coronavirus or to stop the coronavirus. Now, um, the first thing is that um, you will see that what they do is they, on a gradual basis, they do certain actions to quarantine the society. So at the beginning, uh, let's say they stop the incoming flights and then they stop uh, some of the outgoing flights and a few weeks later they stop all flights and then they allow only uh, citizens to come into the country and then they start to quarantine anyone that come in and then they say you cannot get together 5,000 people and then 1,000 and then 100 and then they tell you, well, you know, now you're going to stay at home for three weeks or for two weeks or whatever, you're, you're not allowed to go out. Now, what's the problem? What's the insanity? And what tells you that there is a major lie here is if you know that there's a problem, why don't you do everything they want? Why do you introduce a month of allowing, theoretically, many people to infect many other people? So let's say that you know that the coronavirus is very uh, deadly and uh, you're going to get um, infected. Why all those steps? Why you don't say, okay, fine, I'm closing my borders, putting everyone in quarantine as soon as possible tomorrow so we stop the spread of the virus? Because probably there's a lie. Now, how do you know there is a lie? How do you know there is a lie? The, the, when, when you have a lie, when the handling is a lie, there are few indications. The first indication is that it doesn't work. But it takes time to know if it really works or not. And um, the next indication is how many people actually are willingly cooperating with with the idea of, with the actions. When you have something that makes sense to people, you don't need police, you don't need roadblocks, you don't need anything, you explain and everyone understand and they're doing everything willingly. But when you do something that, number one, uh, cause major, major damage and do not solve the problem, people will not agree with it. They may agree at the beginning and they will say, well, you know, okay, fine, I want to protect myself. Uh, but the only way for them to agree, the only way to take people and make them agree on something that do not make sense is by making them afraid. So how do we know if is it right or wrong? How do we know if something is right or wrong? Well, the word right mean that when you do something right, you actually coming up with a solution that have minimal destruction in it and have maximal or maximum uh, benefits. So when you look at the coronavirus, the actual numbers are that most people that die from the coronavirus are old people, very old, and sick with at least one, two, three previous uh, serious disease. And it's not nice, but it's normal that old people with serious disease die. So you have those people that die across the world. Uh, and uh, on the other hand, so, so this is the bad thing, people die. This is really bad, it's not good. But uh, on the other hand, you have billions of people that their life get destroyed. 
their livelihood get destroyed. They will end up into recession with no job, destroyed businesses, afraid, weak, and yes, maybe they won't have the corona, but they will not have life. So the overall damage is much bigger than the benefits of uh, trying to save a few, few people that will really die in any case. Now, I'm not promoting and I'm not saying that because someone is old, he should die. Uh, I, I'm not saying that. I am saying that it does not make sense to kill billions of people in order to save few. I do say that you need to look at the overall benefits. Uh, how many people you destroy versus what's the benefit? So what's the handling? What's the handling? How do you protect those old people? How do you make sure that they don't die? And you make sure that the society don't disintegrate, that businesses don't fall, that people still can live. Well, two things. Number one, of course, you keep with the law of the land. But number two, you need some kind of, uh, to improve your um, ability to handle viruses. It is time for you to really understand how the body work, what's the connection between the body and the spirit, and what can you do that you and anyone that you know will actually be um, be able to uh, f to immune himself against the corona. And when I wh what I'm saying here, immune is uh, not necessarily on a physical level. I'm not talking about taking some kind of um, vaccine or something like that. I'm saying that the spirit is the boss, and people that are spiritually in good condition. 100% for sure will not get infected and even if they will get infected they will recover very quickly and even if they will get infected and, uh, and, they, will f and they, they will feel uh, not so bad they will know what to do to recover simply by making sure that the spirit is in a good condition because the spirit and the spirit alone make the body sick Oh well, it's not the virus. It's not the virus. Now, uh, it might sound weird, it might sound uh, unprofessional, it might sound many things, but it works. It works. Uh, if you want the same things, if you want to hear what everyone says, if you want to hear um, just the same old things, of course you should not listen to me. But if you think that you want to observe and to find out what's true for you, if you actually know that the spirit is the boss, not the body, and if you want to learn how to actually get you, the spirit, to control your body and not serve your body or not be the effect of your body, uh, I put together something that's called the Corona Survival Pack and that's uh, an actual method of uh, handling the body by actually getting the spirit to take control of the body. Uh, I do that in uh, different steps uh, and uh, it composed of data, it composed of drills it composed of a certain kind of uh, meditation um, that's specifically designed to handle the viruses. Uh, and uh, once you learn how to do it, you'll see, your life will change. But not only physically, not only uh, your f you will improve physically, but you as a person will change and you will be able to handle the disaster that's heading our way because the corona is not the real disaster. The real disaster is the effect of the corona. What's happened the day after? And the day after will come. What will happen then? 
Uh, I will teach you how to handle it. I'll teach you everything that you need to know. Uh, how am I doing it is by a series of webinars um, that you can join. Uh, and those uh, webinars uh, will teach you step by step what is a spirit, what is a mind, what's the relationship between the spirit and the mind, what's the relationship between the spirit and the body, how do you uh, make sure that the spirit actually do what it's supposed to do. Uh, on the physical side, what is it, what's the difference between sickness, illness, disease, what is healing, how does it all work? Uh, what's the connection between energy, batteries, and the body? Is the body is actually an electronic board that you really have to understand the principles of electronics in order to handle the body? You'll get the most fascinating answers that apply to life. Yes, I'm doing it right now with, in, in relationship to the corona, but it's actually handling life. Now, um, the actual seminar, I've done it in such a price that it's uh, actually ridiculous. It's a uh, really low price. Uh, and uh, not only that it's low price, but uh, all the profit from this series of webinars, I intend to donate for people that uh, has been hurt by the coronavirus uh, and they need some help. Um, what I, if you want to know uh, how powerful it is, uh, just go into my Facebook or follow me on Instagram, uh, Mayor Ezra Official on Instagram and on Facebook, Mayor Ezra, and you will see the success stories. You will see what people say uh, and uh, you will know that you need it. It is 100% something that will change your life. All you have to do is to find the link that will be somewhere below and register. Your life will not be the same again. You will stop being afraid and you will start being cause. So if you're interested in ending this nonsense of being in hysteria, fear and terror, if you want to get you back, click the link, register, and you have money back guarantee, 100% money back guarantee. So if you're not happy, uh, and you feel that what I teach you is nonsense, by the end of the lesson, you can get your money back. No question asked. I don't ask you why, how, how, nothing. You say, I don't want it, you get your money back. That's all, May Rezra from Captain Heaven. Because. Bye-bye.